Well, from his adventures as Huck on Scandal to starring alongside Britney Spears in a music video, Guillermo Diaz has a long and wide-ranging resume. And for his latest project, he's working on screen, on screen and off as he serves as star and producer of the new horror thriller, You Can't Stay Here. Watch this. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Are you a cop or something? Uh, no. Then why are you taking pictures? I'm a photographer. And Guillermo is with me now. Welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Okay, there's something spooky about this. There's something crazy going on. Uh, there's a lot of creepiness going on in the film, yeah. A lot of creepiness. So you <laughs> approached the director and said, let's work on something together. How did you two land on this project, and what was your relationship before? Did you know this director? I knew his work, and I was in New York City shooting a television show, and I was feeling kind of creatively stifled, and I, I didn't have much to do on the show, and I was like... Let me think of directors, people that I want to work with, and I thought of Todd Vareau, and yeah. I, I love his movies. He's a sort of underrated, very uh, provocative, um, unapologetic director. He, they call him the D, uh, DIY director, because so, he, he writes everything, shoots it, edits it, yeah. all himself. So I reached out on social media, and I was like, hey, Todd, I'm a huge fan of yours. Let's do something different. Yeah, and yeah. he was like, I'm a fan of yours, too, and we met up in a little cafe in the East Village, and talked about I about ideas and he had this you know I told I, I love the horror and thriller genre and yeah it just sort of happened yeah I, I, you know I heard that you love the horror yeah. genre not that you didn't get to do horrific things on scandal uh, but was this so always true. on your bucket list to kind of do a horror film? yeah yeah I had I have two older brothers and they they loved like you know the exorcist and rosemary's Baby, all those like horror movies so i was like really young still have kid. nightmares right me too <laughs> i still can't watch it alone yeah um so i was exposed to a lot of horror films as a young kid so it's always been like you know i'm super excited about it yeah um but yeah and then i got to produce this film as well yeah. and and help cast it with a lot of um members of a theater company, which is a theater company that I started in acting here in New York. And yeah. so they're in the film. It's, oh, it was really, cool. it was really great. Yeah. Yeah. And so this was inspired, um, this was inspired by real events in New York in the nineties, which was a, a big turning point in gay culture, I feel like in yeah. New York. Um, so what was it like kind of diving back into that era? Cause I remember the nineties in New York. Right. Yeah. I, I know it was, what, what, what was so great about doing a film that's set in the nineties is that there's no devices. You know, no one has an iPhone, uh, iPad, yeah. a computer, so you have to interact and deal with people face to face. Yes. And uh, the film has to do with, um, you know, in the 90s, there was a serial killer going around killing uh, gay men, and unfortunately, um, a lot of people didn't know about it, and, and yeah. the, the authorities sort of swept it under the rug because it was happening to gay men, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so our film is loosely inspired by those events that, that were happening. Um, and but but then getting to dive into the '90s era it was just so great and the fashion and all of that it was. Well, super... I mean, but I feel like, like what I was wearing in the '90s, my nieces are wearing now. Right, like, it's the, all coming back. It's yeah, all coming back. Like, what yeah. were you happy to see come back? Well, in the movie, I wore a vest. Do you remember? I used to wear a vest on top of everything all the time. <laughs> yeah. Just a vest, like a, a jaunty vest. Thing. Yeah, over a t-shirt, over yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah. And then Lee's. Do you remember Lee's? Of course. Those Lee's. I mean, that was a kind of '80s, also into the '90s. But yeah. And then the shell top Adidas with the fat laces, all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Again, that was more '80s into the '90s. Yeah. For but. me, it was it was um, it was chokers and crop tops. But, <laughs> yes. Um, yes. <laughs> but that's what my nieces wear. But listen, we got to talk about scandal a little bit. You yeah. do a podcast, like a rewatch podcast with your BFF, Katie Lowe's. Yeah. So, but you guys don't hold anything back. No. Or do you ever, like, think, oh, maybe we should have gone there. Maybe that was, All like, the time. TMI. All the time. But our producers tell us, listen, just go for it and say whatever you want. And then they end up cutting whatever they think is too much. There was one time that I talked about uh, Teresa Caputo, the Long Island medium. Yeah, yeah. She came to my house to do a, <gasps> a reading for yeah. my partner who lost both his parents. Oh, my God. And she, she started seeing... You know, she she read like the boom guy. She was like, your uncle is here. So we would have to stop shooting and she would have to 
give him a reading because his uncle was in the room. Oh so stuff God. like that happened. And we talk about that on the yeah, podcast. So that yeah. was really, that, that wasn't cut out, but it was really a cool yeah. thing to talk about and, sure. and tell people on the podcast. Yeah. yeah. One of the things I love about that show, too, is that you kind of learn something more about each character mm -hmm. every week. We especially learned a lot about Huck every yeah. week, which became... You know, disturbing and rewarding. Um, but yes, <laughs> when yes. you think, like, is there anything now watching it back? Do you see it differently now that you see how it all played out as from when, when you started that show? Oh, absolutely. Listen, we, me and Katie talk about it all the time. We'd be shooting the show, and I'd be like, Katie, I, what's happening on the show? I don't freaking know. <laughs> yeah. Let's just shoot the scene. Because so much was happening. We were Always. in the thick of it. You know yeah. what I mean? Shooting episode to episode. So now getting to sit back and really watch the show and experience it, we're both like, this is a great freaking show. It was a great yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. So that's really is. fun. Yeah. It still is. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can catch. You can't stay here. Playing at the IFC Center January 5th through the 11th. For more info, head to ifccenter.com. Good to see you Good here, Good to see Mo. you, too. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for stopping yeah. by.